This is how to get the best config file for Fortnite Chapter 3 in order to fix FPS drops and boost your FPS. I will be guiding you through this step by step helping you optimize your Fortnite config file so that you can get the most FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3. But before that, if you guys wanna support my work don't forget to leave a like on this video, it would only take you guys a second and it would help me out so so much. Also use code Recnotec for further support on the channel and with that, let's get straight into today's video. So today I will be showing you guys the perfect Fortnite settings to change in your config file and optimize Fortnite to get more FPS. Also, you guys can download my config file using the link in the description. You can download it through my website or you can go ahead and download it from my Discord server. The links can be found in the description down below. And now let's get on with modifying the config file. So the very first thing that you guys want to do is hold down the Windows key and press R at the same time to open up this run bar. Once this opens up, go ahead and type in percentage, local, app data, percentage once again, and then go ahead and hit ok. Once this opens up, just click anywhere and press the F key to find the Fortnite game folder. Go ahead and open it up. Go into saved, into config, windows client and then right click on the game user settings.ini. Go into properties and just make sure that the read only box is unchecked. Hit apply, hit ok, right click on it once again and click on edit. The very first thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and change the full screen mode to zero. This is going to make sure that you are playing in the exclusive full screen and you're getting the best FPS as well as the lowest latency. Once that is done, go ahead and set B motion blur to false, B show grass to false as well. Then go ahead and set the B show FPS to true. Then set the B latency tweak 1 to false and latency tweak 2 to 0 as well. DLSS quality set this to 0. B ray tracing, go ahead and set this to false as well. Ray tracing quality 0. Then go ahead and set this quality to false as well. Ray tracing AO quality set this to 0. And once you are done with that, go into the display gamma. This section right here and just make sure that this is set to 1.00000. So just go ahead and copy this one. This can tremendously help some people with their FPS. So yeah, just make sure that you go ahead and change this. And once you are done with that, just scroll all the way down till you guys can find the auto download high res textures behavior and set this to disabled. Once you're done with that, go ahead and scroll down a bit more. Scroll down, set the audio quality level to 1. Also quickly, just one more thing that go ahead and find this this B disable mouse acceleration and just go ahead and set this to true. This is going to tremendously help you with the input latency of the game and just the overall feel of your mouse. So make sure that B disable mouse acceleration is set to true. Once you are done with that, scroll all the way down till you guys can find the scalability options and set the shading quality to zero, the foliage quality to zero as well and as well as the effects quality. Just go ahead and copy all of these and once you're done with that, hit file, hit save, close out of this right click go into properties make sure that the read only is checked now hit apply hit ok and by the way if you guys downloaded my config file then just go ahead and paste it inside of here and replace this one and make sure to change your resolution that's all that's all you guys would need to do if you download my config file so yeah now that we are done with that just go ahead and open up fortnite and enjoy your best gameplay experience i will also link other useful guides that will actually help you with gaining more fps and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out out. By the way, if you guys want to optimize your network and get lower ping, then click on this video right here and make sure to go ahead and watch it.